Well, looks like it's about that time. Time to go start swathing some hay. It has been a while. Glad to be back in it. And we're off. We're cutting hay. into the swath there again. Uh, we're on a quite a bit of a rough field. I can't tell when it went is swathing ever smooth, right? But we're currently swathing some rye. It was it's pretty much ready right now. We're getting it cut. It's not looking the greatest as you can tell. It's, it's a bit skippy here and there. It, it didn't come up the greatest. It came up from rain because we didn't have to have time to water it last year and whenever we first planted it. So it came up a little bit skippy, so it's it's decent wheat, but hey, it's it's wheat nonetheless, right? I'm barely getting here now to the end. I'm gonna check underneath the swat or the header a little bit. We ended up uh, really going through this swather this year, and I want to see how it's holding up. We did a lot of maintenance. And I'm curious how everything's looking underneath. So we put new turtles at the end, but we put the main thing, we didn't get a whole new auger, but we got a machine shop to uh, put on new fins onto this auger because it was already worn out very, very bad. And it was uh, doing a terrible job because of it. So looks like that's all holding up. This plate right here is new. Looks like it's doing pretty decent. There's still a little bit of pile up there in the end, but I think that will happen normally. Looks like that side is the same. We put a lot of other new pins on here, like these these wings on here, but looks like nothing's piling up, or not not yet anyway. So far it looks pretty clean. Last year we had a very big issue with a lot of dirt and everything piling up underneath here, and it would just clog up the entire header, but looks like so far it's Working pretty good. As you can definitely tell that one's black. That's a brand new one, new blade too. So not all of them are new blades. A lot of them are still worn, but they're still pretty good. They still look like they're in pretty good shape. But I think for uh, for now, it looks pretty good. I'm glad I'm not seeing any clogs this year. So let's, let's, hope, let's hope we can keep it that way. This wheat does still look pretty decent. The next circle, however, looks way better than this one, and it's way taller. And I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on it, but I almost want to say we had used some leftover seed on this field. Some seed that had gotten eaten up a little bit by some bugs, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I almost want to say there was a little bit left in the air seeder when we started this, but if it is, that could be another reason why it came up so skimpy. Plus, you know, not being able to water it, because at the time we were watering peanuts and we had kind of planted it very early. So that's why we're also cutting a little bit earlier than usual. Normally we'd wait like another two weeks, I, th I think. That's at least when this next circle right here is going to be ready. We have here four circles of wheat, and they all look really good. Especially the smaller stuff. That stuff is uh, wheat, not rye, and it's not triticale, it's something else. That stuff looks really good. I can't wait to swap that. So I believe I got it set up enough now to where we're doing a very, very good job. Way better than yesterday for sure, or not yesterday, last year. I don't know what I'm talking about. Way better than last year for sure. Last year we were leaving streaks all over the place and we couldn't for the life of us figure it out. We tried everything. We had raised and lowered the header, we had sped up and slowed down the header, we had driven slower, we went, we went as slow as two miles an hour just to try to figure out how we can make it work better, but it just did not work, it did a terrible job, it always clogged, and we were, we were, we were assuming that it was that auger, and 
I mean, I don't know if it is now or not, or if it's just the type of year, but we're not leaving streets. It's doing an amazing job, especially for how skippy it is. Like, it is ridiculously skippy, and it's still doing an amazing job. I love it. Every now and then you'll get maybe one, one branch of wheat that's maybe sticking up. But other than that, it's doing a phenomenal job. But because it is working so well now, I am going to uh, stick our worker in here. I'll let him run it now. I actually got to go to the barn because they're dropping off something over there and I got to help unload it. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's pretty neat. We have never had one of these before. And we're now getting one because we need it. And uh, I guess I'll find out what it is later. But for now, enjoy some wheat swapping. And the hired hand is now in the swather and he's gonna hammer down for a little bit. I gotta go meet the guy about a new item. Well, there's part of it. That's not ours, just the steamer. I'll barely make it. That works. Yeah, let's just let's just hook up the six thousand to the steamer and the baler, and then uh, we'll be good to go. It, it can handle it. It can do it. Well, here's our new steamer that we don't know how to run. That's insanely complicated. They're gonna they're gonna come out one of these days and help us set it all up and hook it up to our tractor and hook it up to our baler because there's a bunch of wiring wiring harnesses on there plus everything that was in this box over here. Bunch of hoses have to go onto the baler itself. So, uh, can, can I even open it? If I break it, but maybe I can take a peek inside. Oh yeah, I can see. I can see a bunch of hoses in there. That's, that's gonna be a lot of work. I'm not looking forward to that, but luckily they're gonna be around. They're gonna help us set it all up, so. Fun times. But I think now that we've got all this unloaded and everything, now I think I'll head back to the swather. Yikes. That's a lot of stuff. And back to it.
Well, one circle's done for today. And on to the next one. This next yield is by far way smoother than the previous. I'm able to go 11. I'd probably even push it to 12 if I really wanted to, but I don't really feel like going faster than this. But it's actually better wheat than the previous field and a lot smoother, so I'm happy with it. Well, looks like I'm done for the day. But uh, as for this swather, it's not done. Tomorrow morning, someone else is going to come drive here. I'm going to go hook up our uh, one of our balers, get that that up and ready and going. And uh, I guess from now till all of our hay is done, this swather will probably not stop. It'll keep on going till till everything's done. So there'll be at least one person in here majority of the time so as for now i do appreciate y'all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one